It's a chilly January morning, but for U.S. Army Medical Department activity, patient administration specialist, Sergeant Wendy Stewart, it's time to go to work. It's all ultimately on, do you want to do it? Do you have what it takes? And if even if you don't think you have what it takes, train for it and make it happen. And this is really ultimately what you want to do. Later this month, Stewart leads for advanced individual training at Fort Benning, Georgia where she will participate in an estimated six weeks of infantry training. If Stewart completes the AIT training process, she will become one of the first female enlisted soldiers to reclass into a combat arms MOS from Fort Stewart on our Army Airfield. If your mindset is to go and fight for this country, I think you should give your all, work on it, train for it, and learn as much as possible and give it a try. Stewart's perseverance and her refusal to quit have left a lasting impression with leadership at Tuttle Army Health Clinic at Hunter. She's got the right work ethic, the right mentality, the right dedication to taking care of our soldiers and to the defense of this nation. I'm confident that she can go to Fort Benning, complete that infantry training, get through airborne school, and move on to the 82nd Airborne Division and just do a fantastic job as a female infantry soldier. Stewart sees the opportunity to participate in AIT training and ultimately join the infantry as an 11 Bravo as a way she can give back to her country. I'm marrying this life. This is what I want to do. I'm going to give it my all and I'm going to stay dedicated and motivated, not just for myself, but for my soldiers and for my country. Stewart's eyes are forward. Her body is crouched and ready. Her dedication to service and unrelenting spirit will keep her training in the early hours. For Wind Army Community Hospital Public Affairs, I'm Zach Renstrom.